Hi everyone, Mossimo here from the Blue Root team. And today I'm super excited to show you a very key feature inside of Zoho Desk. Zoho Desk has something called KBs or knowledge base. That's an area where you can put all kinds of information that you think either externally the client will need on an ongoing basis. So it's kind of like a self-help guide or internally that your staff may need and you can use it for your internal needs. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a knowledge base article, where to find it inside of Zoho Desk. I'm also gonna talk about some best practices when creating the articles, there's some do's and don'ts. And then lastly, I'm gonna show you how to use them on an everyday basis. So you can actually insert them very easily inside of a ticket. As always, please like, comment, subscribe. We love hearing from you. And please join my office hours. I'm getting more and more people showing up. It's a lot of fun to meet them and talk about their Zoho needs and they're completely free. So there will be a link below to join the office hours. Um, and I hope to see you there. Enjoy the video. All right, so let's get into it. When you first log into Desk, you're probably gonna be in the ticket module here. What you're gonna to need to do is click on the KB module. So as I mentioned in the intro, KB stands for knowledge base. Keep in mind, just like all the videos I've been making in Desk, these KBs are department specific. So if you have a billing department, you can make billing KBs. If you have a support department, you can make support KBs. They separate that because you might give different access to different people internally and also externally. You may only give access to the support department to a client who's asking for support and billing. So when you get to this page, if you've never created a KB before, you're gonna see this. So go ahead and hit add article. So this is how you add one. There's a few things to keep in mind. Number one, the title. So this is something that should be not really SEO specific, I would say, but something that makes sense based on what your user's searching. So I will make this one, how to change my password, right? Now, a couple other things that are important here. Number one, you can choose the department. Number two, you can choose what are called categories or sections. Those are basically folders. So on the website, on your knowledge base website, there's gonna be a main folder called general, if you want, and then a subsection if you'd like. So you could say password and maybe, or you could say account setup might be more relevant, right? And so you can start putting a bunch of stuff that relates to account setup into this folder. Here you can also do it. So you would say account setup and now hit save. So now this is gonna go into your account setup instead of general, and maybe the subsection is user. So what's gonna happen here is it's gonna say account setup then user. So this is just for folder organization. Again, doesn't really affect SEO or anything like that or searching, but when the client is going through folders, you wanna kind of make a, a journey for them that makes sense, right? The other thing you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind is who's allowed to see this. So this one here, agents only means only internal staff. So it will never be published to the public. Registered users means only people that sign up for your knowledge base. So I'll show in a separate video how to actually publish a knowledge base and there's some settings and all kinds of stuff you have to do there. But you could make your knowledge base password protected. So only people who sign up are allowed to see this. Or you can hit all. This is the most common one. Anyone on the web can see it if you give them the link. I would personally recommend this one, but it's up to you. Now tags, this is very important. So when someone goes to your knowledge base and they're typing in to find something, it uses tags to find that. So you could say password is one. So you go here, password. And when you hit comma, it creates it. User, maybe uh, comma, account, comma. So now if anyone types in password or user or account, this KB article will show up. So this is very important. So you should spend some time on this and you can reuse these in other tickets. So one, or sorry, other KB. So once you create this once, you can reuse it. You can put an article expiry. This is rare, but you may have some use cases for that where you want it to come off the web, right? So now to the actual content of the article. Zoho Desk gives you a really good tool kit here. You can put in links, you can put in lists. So this is how you do it. What I recommend people usually do is a little bit of an intro and then either a video or uh, we oftentimes put videos. So we like embed a loom or something into the knowledge base article. And one of the things I'd recommend doing is using some of this here. So when you see contents, you can actually put some highlighted stuff. So you could say, watch out for this. You could highlight this and then just go notes. And so what it'll do is it'll start giving you a consistent flow. So anything that you want people to see as a note, you can make yellow, maybe at the bottom here, you could say, check this out as well. And you could highlight it and then you could kind of go idea. 
right? So there's a few different things here. And this, what we typically recommend is the article at the bottom, put a warning if there's something that the user is going to run into, and then typically a note. So we oftentimes toggle between them. You can play with this yourself. The color that Zoho gives and the little light bulbs and all of that really helps the user go through and find specific things. And if they're a long time user, they'll start getting used to, oh, this is a note, this is a warning, et cetera, right? So you should be consistent with this. You can obviously add bulleted lists, indent, add images. Like I said, you can embed videos just by putting the link and it'll bring the video in. So it's a really neat tool. You can also have attachments. You can upload them from your desktop or from other cloud applications here. And then the last part is SEO. So if you're trying to get people to be able to search this through Google, you want to spend some time on this SEO. So what I was showing you with the tags above, is just when someone's on your knowledge base page, it has nothing to do with Google. This actually has something to do with Google or whatever search engine the client's using. You want to enter a title, meta keywords, and meta description. Now, I'm not an SEO expert. You can ask your web design company, but it's kind of a similar idea. So you're going to enter keywords that you want people to be able to find on Google and separate them by a comma. It's similar to when you build a website, you want keywords, a description, and a title. Basically, keep in mind here to have words that you think people will type to find your article. Password, reset, locked out of account, your company name, stuff like that, right? So that's basically it. So when I hit publish, now what it's done is it's actually created a knowledge base article. And one of the really cool things with this is twofold. One, you can have a permalink. You can embed this somewhere on your website, in your mobile app or whatever. And so people can easily find this knowledge base article. But number two, what now happens based on those tags we set up is if a ticket comes in and something says password, when you go to respond to this ticket as an agent, when you hit reply, Zoho will now automatically suggest some articles for you. Now, it's not suggesting any in this case because this ticket didn't come in with the word password. But if I search password, you see this comes up. And so you have two ways to actually insert this into a ticket. Number one, you see here, you can share it. This is my favorite. So you could say, hey, check out our knowledge base article, hit share, boom, it puts the link in, the client can click it. Now they're in the knowledge base. Now hopefully they're gonna use that more than send in tickets. The other option that Zoho gives you is to actually paste a ticket. So you can actually take the content of the knowledge base article, put it into the ticket. This one our team personally uses less. We try to train users to go to the knowledge base. So the first one, the link is a bit cleaner in our opinion. So that's basically it. As you start building out this knowledge base, keep in mind the folder structure that you make is important. Let's see, you see account setup user. So when someone goes to your knowledge base, so for example here, if I were to click on a ticket. So basically if someone were to go to that link I just showed, respond, password, So when someone goes here now, they can back up and see all of your knowledge base articles, right? And they can search for them here. So if they're in your knowledge base and they type password, now that article is going to come up, right? So that's all based on your tag. I'll show you another video how to customize this. There's a lot of work you can do here to make it look different, but that's essentially it. So go ahead and give that a shot. As I mentioned in the intro, if you have trouble with this, or you have questions about it, please join my office hours. I'd love to see you there. And uh, yeah, have a good one.